Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing fantastic. And today we've got us another box from Crate Club. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. All right, so we are back with Crate Club. And as always, if you are interested in this particular subscription service or just want to check them out, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. They have a lot of boxes to choose from, and they are sort of themed off of ranks in the military. They have a, what, a lieutenant, captain, major, and a general which is a quarterly box because the box is 400 bucks. And we, we get the general, and I'm kind of concerned i have some concerns because you see the four star up here this is a this is a general box but this box only weighs five pounds so i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of nervous a little little nervous this is a little box now, usually them general boxes you know if you go back in my channel and just type in crate club like or a general or whatever you can see a lot of these boxes that i get and you know they're big you know their boxes are big because you know the box is so expensive you know it's got a lot of items in it so I'm, I'm kind of concerned. I don't think we downgraded this box. I, I, I believe we still get the general box. So hopefully there's some really good stuff in here. So yeah. And this is the general box. Oh man. Man. I cannot believe this. I was... Okay. The... The... Anyway. Okay, hang on. Let, let, let's get through this. Alright, this is the general... And this is Crate Club, and here's their their little pamphlet. And you can see on the top there it says General. It's a very cool, like black and white sepia kind of kind of picture. You have a dude staring at a waterfall. Like, okay, uh, okay, and it immediately goes into the contents, and I don't want to do that. But I will say this: just by just by opening this this thing and seeing, we've got we've got sharpening sharpening stuff. And I, I'm, I was just looking for a, some, some sharpening things because I have, I have a whetstone and another kind of sharpening system. And I really wanted to look into some more of that kind of stuff. And it's just really cool that I, and this is something from Work Sharp. So, yeah. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Man, I will use that. There's no doubt about that. So I'm excited. I'm, I, I, you know, I'm excited about this box. This is this is going to be a, a fun box for me. And I'm opening it on Saturday, so this will give me something to do tonight or maybe tomorrow. So yeah, okay, we got something from Exotac. Uh, this is a, a brand that I, I do have some familiarity with. Okay, what is this? It is the Titan Light. It's a precision machined, ultra durable, waterproof lighter that uses a lighter fluid as a fuel, Zippo or equivalent. Two O-ring seals prevent your fuel from evaporating or leaking when it's not in use, which is awesome. Of course, lighter fluid is not included. So, okay, so it's like a Zippo, and you're going to get probably a lot of glare on this package, so this is probably not going to work out too great, but I, wanna, I don't want to open it yet until I go to use it. And I will do a video on this, because I've got, I love Zippos. I know I haven't ever showed that, but... You know, I have a lot of Zippo lighters. I even have some really old Zippo lighters. And I've got a lot of Zippo lighter fuel over there. So I can, this is something that I don't have to go out and, and purchase anything else to test it. So, and like I said, I do have a lot of experience with Exotac. So that, that's cool. And it seems like this would be a little more robust than maybe a conventional Zippo lighter. Because is this is a, yeah, this isn't a, a CNC machined aluminum housing and you know it's got a screw top on it so yeah th this is i'm definitely into this too man this is a this is a really good box or at least it's it's shaping up to be a really good box i'm, I'm, I'm excited all right let's go ahead and, and get this out of the way this is something i'm not excited about these are these these gear infinity things i've got several of these and i don't know how i feel about them but this is one that you i guess you can wear this as a bracelet it looks like you can it's just a closure system that you can wrap 
you know, I don't know, you can wrap cordage up or really anything that you can think of. And it's got, being that it has all these holes in it, you can, you know, make it, you know, however you need, you know, adjustment wise. And they give you two, two of these that are this long, okay, which I know that's not telling you a whole lot, but let's see. If you close with this up at the largest setting, like this, that's how big it is. So, so you know these things they they got they got use. It's just you know, I like the. I'm doing it again. I'm looking over here. Well, I'm looking over here for a reason. Okay, I got a box right here that has the gear ties. They're they're the 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 things that look like big zip ties, but they're just you know bendable and you can wrap stuff up and then twist them and untwist them and stuff like that i don't know why i said zip ties they don't look like zip ties they just look like big old pieces of of rope or something but they're very very you know hard very pliable uh and you can just you know you guys know what i'm talking about but these these are are cool you know i just I, you know the thing i'm not sold on is this this system right here on, on the on the buckle you know of how good if you really put these things under a lot of tension how good they would hold you know because you know the whole point of this you don't want something you know coming undone i guess and with with the things that i have the gear ties you know you, you're wrapping stuff up and then you're you're twisting the things together and so it would take a lot to get them undone i guess this is a really good idea and i've spent way too much time on this but it says that these things have a 70 pound strength and it says you can, if you need them longer, you can link them together. So you, you can link these things together. So you can always do that as well, I suppose, if that's your thing. Okay, all right. So anyway, we got some more of these. You know, and, and you know, I'm, I'm a creature of habit. You know, once I find something that I like, and this is probably to my own detriment, you know, I, I'm not too keen on stepping out and trying and trying new things so you know that's 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 a that's a downfall i have so but i will give these things a shot whenever i have the need for it i'll, I'll try to to uh rotate them into my my stuff all right we got something called nose slap the wake up stick alternate energy maximum strength smelling sauce with essential oils two units per box okay to activate, twist the cap completely closed, then shake well. Wait at least five minutes before opening. Firmly tap the tube bottom. Pop open a lid of the wave tube six inches under your nose. Gently squeeze the tube and breathe in through your nose. Immediately close the lid and wait five minutes between uses. Each use tube. Use each tube ten times or more. Okay. And it says, use only as directed. This product releases vapors of essential oil and ammonia, which can irritate eyes and nose. Okay, so we got some stuff here that if you're in distress and, you know, you need to get somebody back pepped up, you know, woke up or whatever, these things, you know, these things, they, they do the trick. I don't know. You guys tell me. Is this like the stuff, you know, when you see... When you see like them MMA fighters and, and the boxers, you know, when they go into the corner and them late rounds and, they, you know, they, 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 the guy, you see him reach over there and he'll put stuff up under his nose. I wonder if this is like the same, the same thing, like to, to pep them up, you know, I don't know. But anyway, this is interesting, you know, it's interesting. Maybe I ought to like do a, do a video and like be tired and then pop this and, and huff on it a little bit and see if it makes me go berserk or something. I don't know. Okay, we got something from Fox Knives. We'll, we'll, we'll open this here in a minute. Uh, let's see, we got Nightcore 3000 Lumen M Turbo. Man, what is this? The beginning of the EDC flashlight revolution. Ooh, man, that's what I'm talking about. 3000 Lumens, 220 meter throw distance. Okay, it's impact resistant to one meter. Okay, three feet. Has an IP54 rating. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let, let's let's open this thing. Because, you know, I'm a sucker, man. I'm a sucker for a good flashlight. I, I like my flashlights. And uh, I've got I've got a bunch of really good ones. And I've recommended. And I'm going to tell you. I don't know about longevity of use. But these hybrid lights. 
these hybrid lights that that I got. I used the flashlight and the lantern, and and it 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 worked very very well. So I was very happy with that. And again, I've, I've done this before, but if you're looking for a good flashlight, you know, consider this. This is one of my favorites. It's an Ace Beam Defender P17. I, I really really like this flashlight. It's really really good unit. But this thing here, check this out, man. This thing don't even look like a flashlight. Bro, this this thing does not look like a flashlight. Check that out. It's got a it's got a big old, I mean a big old clip on it. 3.7 volt, 1700 milliamp, 29 watt hours, max charge current 1.7 amps, max discharge current 10 amps. Okay. So this thing is rocking. Is that your own off? What is this? Okay, this is your own off button. Does it got a charge? No, maybe not. Oh, wait, you got to turn it on. Okay, so we hit that. Two. What's that mean? What's two mean? It's got a little screen on it. Look at that. Well, it's just flashing like a two on there. But yeah, it's got this little, it's got this little, little LCD or LED screen right here that that I guess gives you some kind of status of this thing. Okay, and then right here you've got a charging port. Whoa, that's a USB Type C. Okay, they give you a USB Type C to regular USB cable that was included. Uh, sensor protection function available. When the sensor detects an obstruction ahead, the brightness will automatically lower to avoid overheating. If needed. Please readjust the brightness to return to the previous uh, status. Wait, what? When the sensor detects an obstruction ahead, the brightness will automatically lower to avoid overheating. Sensor protection function. Wow, that, that's... Man, this is one you got to read the instruction book. And boy, this thing's got an instruction booklet or a little pamphlet here. Yeah, I think you're going to have to read the instructions on it. And then they give you a little lanyard to hook to where where do you hook the lanyard oh i guess right here on the back of the clip right there where the clip is up here they do have a little a little place for you to run that that lanyard through okay i wanted i want i want this thing to turn on though it says mode and on off this says on off so it keeps telling me to All right. I was impressed by how it looked, but maybe I'm not so impressed because I can't even get the thing turned on. Or maybe I'm just I'm just that dumb. Like I, this is the on off. It's got the little thing for on off, and I'm I'm holding it. I'm pressing it, and it's not doing nothing. Man, everybody's screaming at me. Move on. All right, this is something we're gonna have to revisit because this thing looks really neat, and maybe I'm just too dumb to use it. Which, you know, don't 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 knock the product until until I say okay, this this product sucks. Cause, but it looks cool. I mean, it like the frame and everything. You know, it it's interesting. It doesn't look like a typical flashlight because there, there's your emitters right there. It's got two emitters on the on the very bottom. So you could put this in a pocket. You know, you could clip it into a shirt pocket or something, and you could you could you know have your like your EDC knife in one pocket, you know, clipped in, and then you could have this in your other pocket, you know, because this really, where's my knife at? Where's my knife at? Oh, it's over there. But let's see. Like this is a, a ABKT knife, kind of like a gridiron, but you see, it's it's not that much longer than a than a you know a big bigger pocket knife. So you could this. I like I like this idea. And this thing feels very well made, very solid. You know, it's, it's, you know, you can't translate over a video, but it, but it just feels solid. It doesn't feel like it's plastic. It feels like it's aluminum or something. I like that. Okay. We will come back to that. We may just have to do a Crate Club box revisit because I really want to try this, this lighter, and I want to get that light working. Okay, we got something wrapped up here. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. Let's see. Okay, we got accessory upgrade kit for the WorkSharp outdoor sharpener okay it says fits the wsg ss and that's what we got we got the wsg ss okay 
fits the guided sharpening system upgrade three pack this comes with an extra coarse diamond an extra fine diamond and an ultra fine leather so it's got like a strop okay sweet a leather strop but, but plus okay yeah 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 okay so we got a strop all right sweet okay so they they gave you not only the guided sharpening system here but they also give you the the accessory upgrade kit so man they hook you up they give you not only the the sharpening kit but they also give you the upgrade for the sharpening kit okay so this is the wsgss the guided sharpening system man check that out that is awesome and they got a thing you can watch a demo video boy i like that you know what i like about this check that out okay y'all look at that okay i'm gonna get my big fat head out of the way it's got the angle guides for 17 and 20 degree so you can so when you put your blade on it because that's that's the thing you know about sharpening like off a of whetstone is that you have to learn you know you need to learn and they got all these like for my whetstones they got these little plastic you know like bevel type jet you know jobs that you and it's kind of cumbersome to use because you you have to rest that on the blade and then you know do your sharpening motion and the problem with that is is that it's just a little piece that can you know you cannot have it correctly how about that it's easy to get it off so you're not at the correct angle and this thing here it, these things are built into the unit itself that is awesome man i'm excited i am super super stoked about this because this company uh work sharp i've seen a like an automatic system but they're like three four hundred bucks from this same company and i was actually watching i was watching youtube videos about about this type of stuff so i am super super excited to get this system and i will be doing a video on that so let's see what is this exotic freaky okay what is this I'm gonna have to re. Oh wait, here it is. Oh, it's supposed it's supposed to have been in this little, in this little thing, but I guess in shipping it it it, it escaped and got free. Free key slim system, stainless steel saves your fingernails. No prying, easy to use. Okay, so we all know how when you have keys, when you have a key ring, you know, and you're trying to put more keys on it, you have to pry. You have to pry that one that one piece up and then try to get the key in there and then run it around. We we all know how that is. Well, this is it says key ring reinvented. So it's kind of like a spring system and you just push on it. You just push on one side. Well, this is not because this is really small, but let's see. Let's see if I can see that. You guys probably can't see that. But but it's like a spring almost. It's how it looks, how it's made. And the the side that is kind of up you just push on it and it separates the piece that you would need to run your your key into so they got one big one and then they got three smaller ones but the smaller ones don't have that feature though so what's the deal with the small ones i mean because these okay these are the same you got to pry these apart these little small guys and they're wanting you to put the keys at least in this depiction, they've got you putting the keys on not the big one, but the little small guys. Like if you look at this depiction down there on the on the bottom there where it's got the keys kind of drew out, it's got them on the small guys and then that are hooked to this. Okay. Well, we'll definitely have to see what this is about because you know I, I'm I'm a guy, I carry I carry a ton of keys. I got a lot of keys in my repertoire and and this this problem that supposedly this thing here solves it's a problem that i have for sure so yeah and i'm assuming that when this thing shipped this is how it was supposed to look like that but in in shipping you know it, it found its way free which i don't know if that's really sounds good for this company that this was able to come undone just in the box so i don't know I don't know. Maybe that didn't make them look good. I don't know. But anyway, we got that free key slim system. I've never, I've never seen that before. And then we got a thing here for that nose slap stuff. Uh, thank you for purchasing nose slap. 
let's see. It says that this stuff, and this is the crap that you're supposed to sniff, and it, 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 it sends you into, like, Sonic the Hedgehog Overdrive. And it says, no slap is not a drug. It's not intended for use in the diagnosis, cure, mitigation, treatment, or prevention of disease, or to affect the structure or any function of the body. It said it's a scented aroma product that uses peppermint oil to deliver an intense, refreshing blast of fragrance that instantly invigorates your senses and helps promote feelings of alertness and focus. So there you go. So just uh, start snorting some uh, peppermint oil, apparently. Because that's what this stuff is. Peppermint oil. Well, I guess don't snort it. Smell it. Sniff, sniff the bejesus out of it. All right. Okay, so we, we got one more thing in here that's, that was in this paper. This paper, we'll, we'll, we'll see what that's about. And that's it. That's all we got in this box. Which I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. You guys, just, I cannot sell it enough about how excited I am about this Work Sharp sharpener. Okay, and then for some reason, this is wrapped up in this paper. Pack Stack. Uh, what is this? Pack Stack. The rounded, uh, what is it? What is it? Pack stack. Pack stack. Okay. Well, I keep saying pack stack. I'm, I'm looking for some ultra tough, waterproof, ripstop fabric, lightweight, packable design, lightweight, multiple hang tabs, lash points, interior mesh pockets. Okay. 40 liter plus short. Okay. Okay. I don't want to tear the, the packaging up. What is it? Can I just get this off without tearing the, the packaging up yeah okay sweet all right that way i can kind of keep this so i can go back and look at it so this is a pack sack boy do you guys know anything about this any 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 familiarity with this product oh man this is gonna be one of the things i'm never gonna get this back like it was okay so this this thing Okay. All right, so it's a little pack. Okay. That just it's a small little pack, but it does have a mesh pocket right here that does have a a little loop right here, a little like lashing loop. Okay. And let's zip it up and see if we can give some form, some form to how this thing is supposed to look. Okay, pack stack. Okay, so what what's the purpose? And it says the function here is in some other language that your boy from Southern Alabama can't read. This size is perfect for electronics, food, clothing, footwear, cooking supplies, and gear. Okay. All right. So apparently. What the deal is with this company, you see how it's shaped, it's shaped, you see how it's shaped? Okay, the, the, what I'm assuming, they want you to buy multiples of these. So what you do, you take this, you pack, let's say, your food kit, or your fire kit, or, well, not your fire kit, but let's say your food, your some of your cooking supplies, your fire starter, stuff like that, or your medical supplies, or whatever. However you segregate your pack. Okay, like you would open, you would open your pack and you would set this, you see how it fits, this is meant to go along your back and this is going to be the front of the bag. You can put this in your pack and it's called pack stack because the idea is you buy multiples of these, you fill this thing up with crap, you buy another one, you fill it up with crap and to keep it organized, you just put these in your pack. You put like, and you stack them. I don't know. I will say for organization, because most packs, when you open them up, you know, it's just a cavern, right? You're, you, when you open a pack up, it's just a cavern there. And there's whole, not a whole lot of compartmentalization to segregate items, right? So something like this, I get this. I understand it. Um, would I use this? Well, the problem with that I see, and this is, hey, this is on the fly, me just opening this for literally the, the two or three minutes that I've been sitting here messing with it. What I'm going to say is, what about the big items that are in my pack already? 
like my tarp, my cordage, you know, my, my tarp won't fit in here because I, I, you know, I use a, you know, a big, you know, a big tarp. And what I do, I have it folded in such a way that it's just right on the, on my back in my pack. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't condense it down to fit into one of these. So that's already consuming a certain volume of space in the pack that would encroach on this thing being in the pack. It would, you know, not saying it couldn't work. That's what the comment section is for. Go down in the comment section and tell me this kind of item, something that is strictly meant to supplement your existing pack and you buy multiples so that you can stack them and, and, and sort of when you open your pack up, then you can pull these out. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you use stuff like this? That's what I'd be interested in. If you use it, if you find utility in it, I can see where this would be a good thing because especially guys that are really, you know, really gung-ho about the organization, you know, I can see that being a thing. That right there being a thing. But I don't know. I like it. I think it'd be. A, I think it's a good idea. I don't know if I would need multiples. I could. I would probably do like maybe one or two just for gear that's in my pack, just to have that that compartmentalization going on. I think that would be a good idea. All right. Anyway, that's all we want to talk about. That hit the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about the uh, what is uh, the pack stack from Hill Hill Sound. That's the company. Hill Sound. The pack stack. Pack stack. Not pack sack. Pack stack. I'm moving on. All right, last thing we got is this uh, Fox Knives. We got a thing from Fox Knives. And I do have some Fox Knives up here. And I'm doing it to you again. But I'm not looking over here, though. I'm actually grabbing stuff. Uh, I like these these Fox... Well, wait a minute, this is Fox Edge. Is that the same? Yeah, Fox, Fox Americas. That's it, right? Is it Fox Cutlery? Oh, no, maybe this is a different company. Never mind. Edit that. I think that's a different company. All right, so this is Fox Knives, and you can find them at foxcutlery.com. All right, so we're going to see what, what, this, what, this, what this is. All right, so, ooh, man, that's a lot of stuff. So this is what we got when we opened the box. It's got like a burlap. A burlap-looking kind of kind of uh, bag for it here. And we got another clip. We got another clip with the, the three screws and then the tool to affix it so that's awesome all right so let, let's let's see what we got what's hiding in this bag dun 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 what the what is this what is this ah okay i'm gonna tell you right now i do not like these types of knives um personal preference but there you go that's crazy i don't even know boy i don't even know if batman would carry that, that that's a funky looking knife all right, so the clip that they give you, is it a different style retention? Is it a different style retention? Let's see. Yes, no. Does it look different? It does not. Man, that thing don't look different. Yes, it is different. Okay, so the clip for here is a different, a different retention type. Okay, so we have a big eyelet right here on the, on the end. We have a clip on this side, which because there's open holes on the other side so the clip can be reversed we do have a a very very out of place looking thumb deployer i mean it's just sticking out there you know i i, I like having a thumb deployer so let's see yeah you got it you got to really put some flick on it to get that bad boy out man it's like a this is a talon this is like this is like a claw right here Okay, so, like I said, we do have kind of a, this is a talon, this is a talon looking blade. We do have a liner locking mechanism. The scales have like a, a, that's not, I, I, okay, look, I say gnarling. I know it's not gnarling. It's gnarling. I say gnarling. It's gnarling. Where I'm from, it's gnarling. It doesn't really have that. It does have something like that, but we do have some depressions cut in it that are, you know, staggered. So, you know, it's cool. These these types of knives, I tell you one thing I do like about this knife though, if you look right here, okay, on the top, we do have this 
we do have this coming up, and then we have a little depression right here, okay, where the choil, the main choil is going to be, where your, your flipper tab doesn't really give, it gives you a stop, but it's just so, it doesn't line up with the bottom of the choil, it's, it's forward of it, so I don't really like that, but I love, look at that, that big old dip right here. That does have texturing, like the, the scales are, are kind of cut back and then the, the two sides of the frames have, have uh, jimping there and the jimping goes up to this so it's kind of like a, like a depression like this. But check this out, man, your thumb. Like my thumb fits perfect in there. Oh man, that, that does feel good though. Like this grip right here feels really, really nice. So if I was using this to do some kind of cutting like this, super control. I don't want to say I like this thing. I really don't. I don't want to say that I like it, but I kind of do like it. This is going to be, I think this is going to be the knife that's going to win me over to this funky design. But it's, it's this. It's in, it's in the thumb. It's in this. Like this is so comfortable. It's like a seat, you know, that you sit in and, and the seat like fits you perfect. You know, it just makes you feel good. I don't know. But yeah, so we do have this, you know, I, I like to call them, I don't know, eagle's foot, you know, claw, eagle claw, talon, you know, whatever. This is a, what, M-A-N-I-A-G-O, Manigo? Is that, is that the, is that the, like the model? FX599 is what they got on the box. But what, what what's up with the... We'll look in the book because, you know, generally the books on, on the Crate Club, they have a lot of, they're like Battle Box. They have a lot of really d good descriptions. But yeah, this isn't, if you want to check this knife out, it's an FX-599 from Fox Knives. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very all around interesting. There's nothing on this knife that is plain. Even, the, you know, I, don't, well, I didn't say this, but it even has a bottle popper like right here on the top. You know, next to this big, this big, you know, cutout that you, you, well, I don't know. Can you deploy with that? Yeah, you could. Can you flick it out with that, though? How would you need to arrange your hands? Okay, I can get it out. All right, I can't. It's awkward. It's all get out just because of this, this knife is such a crazy shapes going on. Maybe put a little oil on that pivot system, but yeah. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll check this out. Okay, so we got that knife. All right, let's go to the book. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is our supply drop. We got the Mod L Inf uh, Infinity Straps, a four-pack, and I told you about these. You know, these things, they're good. It's just, I'm nuts, you know. You know, that's how it is. All right, then we got the No Slap Wake Up Sticks. It says it's a... Uh, uh, it's a, a aromatic product that uses peppermint vapors to deliver intense, refreshing blasts of, of fragrance that instantly puts you in the mood to be active and engaged in whatever life throws your way. Ammonia, a key ingredient in nose slap, has been used uh, you know, by medical professionals, competitive sports athletes. So that's what they be sniffing in them fight. They, man, they straight up be putting a, a ammonia up under them other than people's noses, man. I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. All right, then we got the Exotac Free Key. This award-winning key ring saves fingernails and simplifies the daily task of carrying keys. Designed in Sweden and, and manufactured in the USA from high-grade stainless steel. And it says, without a doubt, it's the last key ring you'll ever need. All right. All right, here we go. Pack Stack. Okay, winner of Outside Magazine's Gear Guide Editor's Choice Award in 2022. Holy crap, man! That was a that was a lot. That was a whole lot of of self uh, Doug Ruggery there. Okay, the Pack Stacks weatherproof organization and distribution tool designed to be used in conjunction with any standard 40 liter plus backpack. With its crescent shaped design, Pack Stack was created to eliminate dead space within a backpack more efficiently than a standard packing cube. Okay, features a 100% uh, Cordura ripstop nylon and the YKK zipper. The pack stack was designed to be used on any expedition in any environment. Furthermore, multiple pack stacks can also be stacked within a single backpack, allowing the user to organize their belongings however they choose. There you go. 
Tell me what you think about the pack stack. I think I think that's a really cool idea. I've never seen them before. So yeah, that that that's something I'm gonna have to check out. Okay, then we got the work sharp guided sharpening system. It says that yeah, we've already talked about it. And and it says it comes with the packable two grit ceramic hone and it comes with a 320 coarse and a 600 fine diamond plate and like i said we step what well, i don't know does it give me the okay we in the kit the upgrade kit comes with a 220 grit edge repair stone a 800 grit fine tuning stone and then the leather strop so a 320 and a 600 is what comes with it and we got a 220 and an 800 so man we've got Every possible grit we would need to, to get these knives in superb shape. That's awesome. Okay, then finally we got the Night Core. No, not finally. What am I saying? Then we got the Night Core EDC 27 Ultra Slim Flashlight. And it says it has six different illumination modes that I couldn't even turn the thing on. So we're, we're, we're definitely going to come back to that because I like this thing. This thing looks really, really freaking cool. We're going, we're going to come back to that. All right, then we got the Exotac Titan Light. And that's the that's this thing, the Titan Light. It says it's a rugged, waterproof, refillable lighter. I love it. Waterproof up to one meter. Uh, one revolution, quick thread. Allows for easy access to the flame. Easy to replace the flint. But where? But here's the quicker, though. Where, where do you get the flints from? I guess you, you would maybe have to buy them from Exotac because I'm assuming... They they're not gonna make this where just any like a like a flint system for a, a Zippo would go in there. I don't know. I have to take it apart and check it out. Maybe I mean the flint wheel might be the same. That'd be awesome if it was, because then somebody like me, I can very easily incorporate this into all my my Zippo lighters. So that'd be awesome. Okay, so now then we move on to the Fox Five Nine Nine Karambit. So this thing here, what does it say about it? It says, while the Karambit itself has been around thousands of years, blah, 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 Fox Knives, okay, they're bringing this uh, Karambit into the 21st century. The Fox 599 G10 offers a stunning balance of form and functionality. Built for hard use in the world's most hostile environments, this wicked little blade has been field tested and given the stamp of approval by some of our most elite users. So guys, this Karambit right here has the seal of approval of a lot of people that are more experienced and more talented using knives than me. So there you go. It says, like all of Fox knives, the uh, Karambit is durable, reliable, and high quality. Suitable for service members, law enforcement officers, civilians, first responders, utility workers. It's a beast of a blade with some incredible unique features, such as the patented Emerson Wave. And then it has an error pointing down to it, but what is... The, so the Emerson Wave is for rapid deployment. Okay, what we're rocking is a N690 CO stainless steel. Seven length overall, 2.56 when she's closed. And that's everything in the Crate Club. The General, we are four stars on this bad boy. We four stars on the General box. All right, so tell me what you think. Do you like, I, you know, I don't like these types of knives, you know, they're not really my thing. My brother really likes these knives, so I think he's going to be extremely happy to put this knife into his into his EDC rotation formation of knives, I guess. I'm going to put it back in here, this little bag. So yeah, the Karambit knives, they're just not my, you know, the, the, the talon kind of blade shape for, for me. It's not something that, that I'm, you know, I don't know. It's just, you know, when I got into knives, you know, and, and you start going and, and looking and, and carrying knives, it's just a blade shape profile that I personally never really took to. Uh, I think they're cool. There's nothing wrong with them. I'm not going to like badmouth or bash anybody that uses them. It's just for me. It's not my personal preference. So super stoked about all of the sharpening stuff. Because I've had you guys ask me in the comment sections of some of the videos about, you know, doing a video about knife sharpening. I am still on a, <laughs> I'm still on the, the learning side of, of, you know, becoming proficient in knife sharpening and blade manipulation. Yeah, how you like that? That's fancy right there. Yeah, that's right.
That's what I'm talking about, manipulating that blade, dog. But I've, I've got a lot of stuff here that, that I need to sharpen because I, I'm lazy. I used to have, uh, there was a, a gentleman that owned a, a sharpening store that was not too far from where I live and work. And, but it, it, was an, it was an older gentleman and he eventually closed the shop and retired. And I used to just take all my knives to him and drop them off, you know, and, and he did an awesome job getting them all, you know, back up to beyond what they would normally do from the factory. And so this is something, this is, this is something, this is a skill that everybody needs to learn. And I will definitely be getting into this and reporting back on you guys in, in one of the videos about how this works. Or I may even do a video, you know, once I work the bugs out, because I'm not gonna get on here, man, make myself look like an idiot, where you guys can go and clown me. I ain't gonna do it. You got enough you can clown me on already. I'm not gonna add to it. But I'm excited about trying the Exotech Titan White and this uh, inner core or night core EDC 27 light. I'm super excited about getting this thing. And I'm going to, as soon as I cut this video off, I'm going to get this thing and I'm going to plug it in and, and get it charging and, and uh, get it working. And I'm going I'm to definitely do a follow up video on that. I may stick it on the end of one of the unboxings or something. So, yeah. All right, guys, this was the Crate Club General. This is a $400 box, man. This, this bad boy ain't cheap, man. She's expensive. But I know that this stuff right here is expensive. But this is quality stuff. Like, if you if you just look up WorkSharp, you'll, you're going to find them a lot, especially on, on the tube here. A lot of guys really like these products for sharpening, and they seem to be really good quality. And, yeah, so we got, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm happy, you know. Uh, like I said, this blade's going to go to my brother. Uh, he'll be happy with this, this nose slap stuff. I don't know what we're going to do with that. These little gear, gear, what are these things called? Infinity tool things. We'll use them or do something with them. The free, the free key system. I'm interested to see what that is. But like I said, I'm going to get on this flashlight right when I turn this video off. So I hope all you guys are doing well. Let in the comment section down below, let me know what you think about this box. This is Crate Club. This is General. This is the big boy. The quarterly, not monthly. Because, you know... They can't, boy, if you could get $400 a month, man, you don't, you're not going to be buying boxes like this. You're going to, you know, you're going to be, you're going to have, you're going to have all, all the most expensive gear money can buy. So, all right, with that, guys, I'm going to get out of here and hope all of you are doing well. And yeah, we got the giveaway coming up. I'm going to have this video uploaded Saturday. So, yeah, so tomorrow, giveaway for the Kubi knife. And that's it. I'm out of here, guys. Hope you're doing well. We'll see you next time. Peace. All right, man, that was good. I think that was good. This is a really good box. I can't believe this light made me look bad, though. Like, it didn't want to turn on. It makes me look stupid. I'm, I'm putting the button, and it keeps saying two. With, like, a lock. But, but, there's, but when I hit mode, it doesn't do nothing. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, it's only, it's not like this thing's got 500 buttons on it. It's got two buttons, man. It's got a mode button and an on and an off. But it, I'm going to I'm gonna have to load the instruction book. I, I will not be defeated by some new fancy flashlight. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. All right, man. I, I, you know, I'm going to say this again. You guys are, have been really awesome on, on doing your comments on, on the uh, Kubi Knife giveaway for monthly knife club it's it's awesome you guys did a, uh, do an awesome job I, I really appreciate all of you guys giving them well wishes and even thanking me in videos you know it, it i love it you know it makes a guy feel feel good it makes me feel like it makes me feel like you guys are part of my family you guys are part of my youtube family out here uh, let's see. Uh, I got some comments. People asking me how 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 me and my family are doing. Uh, every everything's going good. Everything's going good. I made my trip to Dunkin' Donuts this morning by myself. My wife my wife uh, was asleep, and uh, she didn't get up when I got up, so I wasn't gonna wake her up. I was just gonna let her sleep. So I kind of snuck out of the house by myself. Made it to Dunkin' Donuts. Man, we we had a bad wreck uh, down down on the road that I you know go down to get to to Dunkin' Donuts. Man, bad wreck. So yeah, it was a success. I got there. There was plenty of munchkins for, for, my, for my youngest daughter, so it was a success. I got my wife her pumpkin spice latte. So yeah, everything went good. 
uh, and I, uh, EMT Bulldog, uh, let's see, what do he say? Seat cover wouldn't be something I would have thought about going out and getting, but seeing it now, it would be something I wouldn't mind trying out. Yeah, well, th we'll see, you know, uh, thank you, everybody, for your comments outside of the giveaway videos. If you comment on any of my normal videos, I read every comment because this little, this little guy that I have here on my phone, uh, it, it, uh, you know, I get no notifications anytime there's engagement on the channel. So I read every single comment, no matter what the comment is, I read it. So, uh, yeah. And I, and I do appreciate it. I don't know why I'm putting my glasses up. I can't, you know, I good and well, I can't read this, but the good thing, uh, EMT Bulldog about these subscription boxes, man, is the fact that like, you know, I'm, you get stuff that you might not normally be exposed to or you would you wouldn't feel the need to go out and buy and that to me is the biggest thing about the about all this kind of stuff you know because you know you, you don't buy subscription boxes with a need right because you have no idea what you're getting so you're, you're just you're you're hoping that like this it, it's strange because I just talked about the video in the video yesterday that Murphy's Law kind of slaps me upside the head every chance it gets. But I have been looking at WorkSharp for this kind of stuff. And it, it's just awesome that I, th this is what came in this box. That, you know, I couldn't have wanted this any better. All right, so yeah, I appreciate, appreciate you for being here, buddy. Uh, Colby, uh, really nice knife. I like the way the blade... A position in a downward angle to keep you in a real good cutting position on top of the sheep's foot, keeping the tip of the blade uh, below the pivot. Yes, yeah, very good. That's a very good point about the the sheep's foot blade. Is when you look at the blade point in when it's open in relation to where your pivot is, because believe it or not, that does make a difference when you're using the knife. Is is kind of like applied force, if if you want to say, depending on where the the blade point is in relation to the pivot. That's a very good. This is a very good point. Uh, thank you, Colby, for being here, buddy. I, I really do appreciate you, and thank you for your comment. Uh, that's something that you know a lot of people really don't hit on when you when you go into practical application of actually using, you know, your your pocket knife for whatever task you're you're doing, especially if you're trying to go sort of above and beyond, you know, what the knife was designed for. Because let's just face it, in a, an emergency survival type situation, your whatever is on you whatever your EDC crap is, you're going to ultimately put that stuff into situations and you are going to use that gear for things it was not intended for. And you're hoping that it won't fail, right? Which is why, you know, some people say your EDC stuff is the most invaluable stuff that you'll have because that's the stuff you're going to go to first. So, Timothy, with some, boy, Timothy's bringing some smack talk. And Murphy's Law is owning a Dodge. Oh man, come on, bro. I'm going to tell you something, you know, the whole truck, the whole truck, you know, bashing, you know, uh, that goes on. I, I get it. Uh, the only truck I've never owned is a Ford. I've never owned a Ford truck. And nobody in my family's ever owned a Ford truck. You know, we're generally, generally for a long time, we've been Chevy GMC people over here. And I had a, I, I bought in 2016, I bought a brand new Chevy crew cab that it was LTZ, it's fully loaded. I love that truck. I love the way it looked. Like the 2016 LTZs are fully loaded, the grill, the way, the way the body was. I think that was one of the prettiest trucks I've ever owned and they had no problems with it. Not, not the first problem. Until the world got turned upside down and I had an injector go out. And I could still technically drive the truck, but they couldn't get one because all that stuff comes from China right? So I traded the truck in to the dealer that we deal with and I got, uh, my brother got off into Dodge trucks. And I'm going to tell you something, to be honest, we haven't had any problems. You know, we have, the Dodge trucks that we've had have served us really well. And I had a, uh, the first truck was a 2500 with the Cummins diesel and, you know, loved it. Got rid of that truck, traded it in, and got another diesel, another 2500 diesel. And uh, I love it. You know, I love it. I know, but the problem with the diesel and the trucks is it's a systemic problem kind of across the board with Ford, with the power strokes, and with the Duramaxes, is the emission stuff. 
the the emission stuff kills kills the the engines man it's just it's it's so bad for the engines but um i get you man murphy's law is owning a dodge <laughs> man you ain't right man i love my dodge truck i haven't had i haven't had no problems with it okay so let's see jay says hey brad um uh, you gave away the chimera knife previously and i was lucky enough to win it it's in my EDC rotation. The seat cover will be awesome. I just started looking at them. Thanks for the great videos. JR. Yeah, that was that was it. It was a Chimera, right? Yeah, the damn design knife. Yeah, it was a chim it was a Chimera. Yeah, that's it. Hey man, that's cool. That's awesome. Well, hey, uh, thank you for for uh commenting and everything. And I'm glad I'm glad you like that knife because that that was a really good knife. I was really sad to see that knife go. That, that was a really good knife. And I'm glad to hear this in your EDC rotation, buddy. That's awesome. And the seat cover stuff, it's a really cool idea. Like, you know, like I said, my brother in his Jeeps, he has he has those things on the back of his seats. And you're able to put, you know, little packs and, and even gear that, you know, already has Molly on it. You know, you're able to affix all this stuff to it. And it's, it's, it's not, you know, thrown up under your seat or you know, tucked away somewhere, it's it's just right there on the back of your seat. And even with some packs, you know, as long as you don't go crazy, you know, you put smaller packs on, on it, the people that sit in the back seat behind it, you know, where it's in front of them, you know, it, it's not like, oh, you know, it's all on them and invading their space or anything. So yeah, it, it's awesome. It's really awesome. Uh, let's see, Luke says, you're doing a good thing here. Keep it up. Love watching your videos. Uh, thanks that that me you guys have no idea man that kind of stuff it it goes a lot further than you think especially with me you know because uh yeah mike says uh i know that seat cover will fit in my dodge journey your dodge journey and then cliff says those seat covers are cool and fit f-150s man how you know how you know they fit f-150 how you know they're gonna fit a dodge journey because I'm going to tell you something. I never would have thought in a million years that that thing would not fit on my truck. And I know in the video, I said that the seat, the seat was wide. And what I meant by not wide, width-wise, like your butt wide. I'm talking about the, the padding of the seat was thick. And, and it's, it's really thick in, my, in that truck. And I know now because I, like, I, I looked at my wife's car and the seat in her car is, is kind of, you know deep like that you know really wide and the problem is is the velcro on on these things that you you know use them to affix them to the seat they they're there's it's just not enough material and i know i know that yes i could take the thing and you know do some alterations to it and probably make it fit but i would rather just have something that fit properly than trying to go out there and monkey with it and, and you know make it fit so i'm gonna have to look into that uh and since we're bashing vehicles if we're gonna bash vehicles i'm gonna say this and i'm just i'm, I'm this don't take offense i'm just saying i'd hate to send it to somebody that's got a ford you got a ford f-150 man come on man i'm just playing cliff i'm just playing hopefully that ford don't break you down and you have to get you know you have to go get rescued by somebody with a chevy or a dodge just saying all right, I'm not going to read everybody's comment, but just know that I read all your comments, and uh, and I appreciate all you guys commenting and, and uh, reaching out to me and everything. I really greatly, I really do greatly appreciate it. And if if you hung around, I mean, I done, I, I mean, hey, at this point, if you're still here, it's on you because I've done said bye to you and and everything else. So if you made the point to hang around here and keep watching this long, it's on you. It's not on me. So yeah. Uh, yeah, man, we got the giveaway tomorrow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the monthly knife club. The box that got like ran over, or whatever. I don't know what happened to that box. I hope the stuff in it isn't messed up because that kind of stinks. Because then I'm just out, whatever. But anyway, hope you guys are doing well on this Saturday. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because it is 150, and we'll try to get this video uploaded. Hopefully, this video won't take forever for YouTube to process it, and I can get it up and kind of timely fashion I'm, I'm gonna post it whenever it gets done so you guys are gonna get this video as soon as youtube does whatever it has to do all right guys that's it that's all i got for you now that you've hung out with me for this long like i said don't complain about this video being long if you watch this long it's on you it's not on me 
But I will see you probably maybe early Sunday. I may do another video before I do the giveaway video. So um, you may see me twice tomorrow. So yeah, you probably will. So yeah. Have a good Saturday night, man. I love all of you. Especially if you, if you made it to hear me say that. I love all of you. And we'll see you next time. Peace.